Hello, my name is Scott W. Baker. I'm a professional photographer in New York City. You can see my work at scottwbaker.com. I shoot mainly wedding photography as well as catalogs, still lifes, food, portraits, landscapes, and uh, fine artwork. Today I'm discussing the Nikon D600 full frame camera and the Nikkor 50mm 1.4D lens. This is one hell of a beautiful setup. I'll explain why. The camera built by Nikon is not their flagship Nikon D4. It's not their 36 megapixel monster camera, uh, the D800. It is uh, sort of in between but it hits all the right notes. It's full frame, 25 megapixel. It's built out of magnesium alloy. It's light, relatively speaking, compared to a D4. In fact, it's a little bit lighter than the D800. Shoots spectacular images in low light, high ISO, low ISO. The bottom line is great all around camera. If you uh, have good lenses, you'll get great images. What you have to remember, which most people forget, is it's the lens, not the camera. And it's not the camera, it's the artist, the photographer, that makes great images. This particular setup here is a Nikon. This is the button right here where you release the lens. Nikon lens, it's a 50 millimeter 1.4D. The D shows that it's about 15 years or so old. The uh, latest lenses now are called 50 millimeter 1.4G. But essentially, they take the same quality images. You can pick these up used for $100 to $200 on eBay. Uh, comes with a metal. Mount on the back here, beautiful multi-coated glass. It has this hood that you can purchase separately, right there. All metal hood, keeps down the flare. This lens is as sharp as they get. If you uh, open this up, wide open 1.4 in low light, you'll get beautiful bokeh. The uh, difference between uh, soft focus behind you and not. And also, um, if you stop it down, two or three stops, sharp as a tack. I highly recommend this lens. This lens can do pretty much anything you'll ever ask of it. It is uh, well built. As you can see, the apertures inside are mechanical, but they're also driven by the uh, camera itself, you can uh, stop it down manually or let the camera do it. Uh, the beautiful thing about manually is if you can use this for cinematography purposes. The uh, camera, the D600, shoots 1080p video and uh, really good video at that. This lens here needs a little cleaning there. This lens mates to the camera quite nicely, like that, and uh, it's a great normal lens, great lens to shoot in the streets of New York. Uh, I highly recommend it, and if you're trying to save a little bit of money over the, uh, the 51.4G, this is the way to go. With regards to the D600, If you, uh, if you look carefully there, you can see the, uh, the live view. It's a little hard. It's getting uh, blocked out from the glare. But uh, you can shoot live view with this camera. You can shoot optically through the, the, eye, the, the viewfinder here. Great metering, five and a half frames per second on motor drive. 
It uh, has live view, it has regular focusing, it's fast with the focusing, it doesn't have uh, any focusing issues like the D800 where it has focusing problems on the left side. You can pick them up for about $2,000 for most of the retailers. And the bottom line here is for uh, professional photographers, this is the way to go. You get the battery grip for about $250 under here, which extends the uh, battery life. Uh, there's really not a lot of downsides to this camera. It shoots and shoots and shoots and goes and goes and goes. It has a pop-up flash for fill flash. It mates nicely on the top here with the D900, uh, SB900, SB910, SB700s. You can uh, shoot any event pretty much that you like. Uh, if you're shooting with a low light lens like this, you don't really need flash, but you certainly can use it. I recently shot a uh, Willie Nelson concert with this setup here. It's beautiful. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being perfect, I give this an 8, and I highly recommend it. And uh, that is uh, all for now. ScottWBaker.com. Thanks for checking in.